Yeah. Exactly. We do have some really nice news, not only in the way of things looking better. Yesterday's fog, I mean, you were only seeing feet in front of you. Thankfully, we do have nice visibilities and a cooler start. Uh, yeah, so a cooler start for us out there. But right now, fair skies will give way to cloud cover that will push in a little bit later in the day for us out there. A lot of you dry, but a nice shower, not out of the question. This is Sky 5 Live. Right now, we've got fair skies over the Mid-South. There may be a little patchy fog near some waterways or valley areas out there, but that's it. Hopkinsville, a nice 60 degrees for the beginning of your day there. Look at some other numbers right now. Bowling Green, a 59. 55 over in Paris. Shelbyville, you're 59 at the hour. So here's what's up. Fair skies, pleasant Tim's for us right now. Humidity levels are actually going to inch up a little bit later in the day with that. A mostly cloudy sky and some spotty showers. Tomorrow, similar to this afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds with an isolated shower here or there. Highs today, 85 out of Hendersonville, Franklin, Tennessee, Franklin, Kentucky, 81. Low 80s, Livingston, Sparta, 85 out of Tullahoma, mid 80s for Lawrenceburg, and then back over in the Lewisburg. Fairs continue today for our friends over in Coffee County and in White County. 81 degrees, maybe a stray shower your way at the 5 o'clock hour, then by 9 p.m., right around the 71 degree mark. Keep those numbers in mind for anybody who's going to head to the sounds game this evening as well. Uh, there is a look at satellite photograph for us, not much. But again, clouds streaming in for us, Nikki D, as we make our way through the day. They sure will be, Leland. But right now, though, we've got mostly clear skies. Sky 5 up and live this morning overlooking Music City, right ahead of that hustle and bustle of the day. So thankful we can actually see quite a distance out there. Things are really looking up. When it comes to our clouds, as Leland pointed out, we've got quite a bit of cloud cover that will be moving in as we go throughout the day. As it does, at times, it's going to look like it's going to rain. You will notice with this particular model run is trying to show some precipitation. But remember, this is not the gospel. It's a good indication, and sometimes these models get a little confused. We've really got to rework the atmosphere. we got to get that dew point up. The moisture has got to increase before any of this can actually make its way down to the ground. With that being said, we still do have a chance for a few showers limited in location. It would basically be south of I-40, closer to the Alabama-Tennessee state line. Clouds continue to stay with us overnight tonight and throughout our entire Wednesday where we could see one or two tiny showers. Then we do have a little bit more clearing heading our way into Thursday with some rain chances starting to move in by the time Friday works through. Now, when it comes to Friday, it's not going to rain all day. A few scattered showers and storms, and we'll have the system move into our area that will dry everything out. Your seven-day forecast highs today will top out around the 85 degree mark. A chance for an isolated shower too. Tomorrow is still cloudy, 85 for that high. A little more sunshine will peak through Thursday, hence temperatures slightly warmer, still a b below average as we'll have that high around 87, Leland. Uh, yeah, so 87 for us going into Thursday. Then we'll get this front through here and into the beginning of the first full weekend of September. Not bad, 83 for you on Saturday, 57 Saturday night, 80 Sunday mid 50s mid to low 50s by sunrise on Monday. I mean talk about falling into autumn yes. for sure. We've got a treat on the way.